Hi, I'm Dr. Richard German, and I'm the Interim Dean of Rowan Virtua School of Osteopathic Medicine. I'd like to welcome you in the video cast series where I'll be highlighting various thought leaders that contribute to the mission of moving the medical school forward. Today, I invite Dr. Thomas Cavalieri, the Vice President of the Rowan Virtua Health College of Medicine and Life Sciences of Rowan University and Chief Academic Officer of Virtua Health. Dr. Cavalieri is Professor of Medicine and Osteopathic Heritage Endowed Chair for Primary Care Research. He is an integral part of the journey of osteopathic medical education in South Jersey since 1981. He previously served as the Dean of Rowan SOM for over 17 years. He's a founding director of the Center of Aging at UMDNJ SOM, which has grown into the Department of Geriatrics and Gerontology and the New Jersey Institute for Successful Aging at Rowan SOM. He oversees all undergrad and graduate education and research programs. He manages the infrastructure to support the academic mission of the School of Osteopathic Medicine, the School of Nursing and Health Sciences, and the School of Translational Biomedical Engineering and Sciences, which are all part of the Virtual Health College. He served on many national, professional, and academic committees over his 42 years here at SOM, um, and presently serves on the AOA's Borough of Osteopathic Research and Public Health the Board of Directors of Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education. He has multiple awards in, from the MBOME, ACOI, AOA, ACOM, the New Jersey Bids Education Power List of 2023. And he's been listed as top doc in geriatrics in Castle, um, Philadelphia Magazine, New Jersey Monthly, and SJ Magazine. Phew, that's a lot. So it's great pleasure today to um, welcome you, Dr. Cavalieri Tom, to today's uh, 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 message. So, you know, let's just go ahead and get into it. So with the creation of the Virtual Health College of Medicine and Life Sciences at Rowan University, it's really brought three separate colleges under one umbrella. And uh, so tell me a little bit about the mission and vision that you have in this new Virtual Health College. Well, thank you, Dr. German. We worked together for so many years, it's rich to me, okay? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. This, this is really uh, an exciting time. I think that we are um, very grateful that uh, uh, two presidents in the area are President Dr. Hushman, president of Rowan University, and President uh, Dennis Pullen, president of uh, Virtua, came together to create a new academic health center right here in South Jersey. Um, what a, a tremendous thing to happen uh, to really um, have uh, this vision of really enhancing care right here in South Jersey. So uh, we're fortunate now to build on um, many of the accomplishments of the School of Osteopathic Medicine, uh, the School of Nursing and Health Professions, and to, to expand um, what we're doing here in South Jersey. I would say that uh, the, the vision of this new academic health center is to really transform health care, both here in South Jersey and in the nation. And of course, the mission is to really accomplish this vision through excellence in patient care, uh, in research and education. And I think in, in fulfilling that mission, we can build on the accomplishments in the School of Osteopathic Medicine, the School of Nursing, and um, in what we're doing in the area of research as well. So it's an exciting time, and uh, we're grateful to really have this opportunity. No, I'm, I'm grateful to have you at the uh, helm of this. This is a huge undertaking, uh, Tom, as uh, I think we're all beginning to become aware of. You know, as we increase the footprint, I mean, I think it comes at a good time. You know, South Jersey is facing some really serious health professional work shortages in the very near future. How do you think this is going to help to address that? What I think is going to be a very quick um, and apparent need. 
the workforce is a nationwide problem. Um, for example, it's projected that uh, there will be a need for 150,000 more physicians nationwide. The, the, the estimates vary, uh, 90,000, 100,000, 120. Any time nationally that there have been estimates of physician shortage, it's always worse yeah. than what was uh, predicted. So I think the 150 is, is a good estimate. Um, but it's just not physicians, it's nurses and uh, other health professionals as well, physical therapists. And of course, um, the need for PAs, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, et cetera, is really, is really growing. Now, New Jersey has really some uh, very special needs. Um, it used to think that we were short like uh, 5,000 physicians in the state in primary care. But what we're finding is there are many, many uh, disciplines where there are significant shortages. Like in my own field, geriatrics, we can't train enough geriatricians with the aging population. Um, other fields too, general surgery, uh, the behavioral health crisis, uh, we need more psychiatrists. South Jersey has some very specific needs. The New Jersey Hospital Association just did a few years and they looked at the projected physician shortages in the state. And what they concluded was every county has a need for more physicians, but especially the counties here in the South, Salem, Cumberland, Cape May County, et cetera. So we need to address this issue in our academic health system uh, to produce more quality physicians that will practice in these areas uh, nurses, and other health professionals that are needed as well. So this is a real challenge, and we're up for it. Yep, I, I agree. Tom, I think we're up for it. Very excited about, you know, how we're going to be growing this uh, enterprise. Uh, it, it almost looks like every time we turn around, there's a new project, a new program that uh, we're, we're building to create, to meet the needs of, of the community. Let's talk about research for a second, because I think you know how, how integral and how much I love research. Um, now, our president, Dr. Hushman, you know, has been really clear about moving Rowan University from a Carnegie Research class Classification R2 to R1. Um, how will uh, the, the Virtual Health College contribute to us getting to this goal? First, I, th I think that that's uh, such a laudable goal that our president has put forward and uh, for the entire university. And I know in my discussions with uh, President Hushman, he sees the Virtua Health College of Medicine and Life Sciences um, as contributing significantly to go from R2 to R1. You know, I, I have strongly and certainly you and I have interacted over the years and you know how strongly I have felt about research and I know you feel even more so or as much as I did. I think it's great for a health professional institution to pass on new knowledge by Absolutely. teaching, but I think it's even greater when you discover new knowledge because when you think of it, you're improving the human condition not just by teaching, but also by finding new ways to make life better. So this will be a very important initiative that is going to span all of the three schools. Now, specifically, the um, School of uh, Translational Biomedical Engineering and Science uh, is going to have a significant role in research. I mentioned, you and I had had this discussion, that think of it that you have a school that has strengths in biomedical science and also biomedical engineering. You put biomedical engineering, biomedical science, and clinical opportunities together, uh, amazing things could happen. So I really see the Virtual Health College of Medicine and Life Science as being a major force in moving research forward. 
Now, we're, we're very fortunate to have a great hospital partner, Virtua, that really uh, is leading the way in certain clinical areas. Mm -hmm. They're, they're the leader in this area in cardiovascular disease. They're doing amazing work in that area. They're the only transplant center here in South Jersey doing amazing things in transplant liver and uh, pancreas and kidneys. And they really have this quest that not only do they want excellence in clinical care, but they want to join with us to find um, new ways to improve uh, cardiovascular uh, issues, to improve transplant. The other area that uh, I know our presidents have put forward, uh, which is a special area of interest for both Rowan and Virtua, is health equity. Mm -hmm. And I know you feel very passionately about this, as do I. Uh, we want to improve the condition for everyone, for everyone. So that means really looking at our community, um, identify gaps in care so everybody rises together. And um, this will be an, air, an important area of research as well. So this is an exciting time. Uh, we, we will be embarking on research across all three areas, translational, clinical, et cetera. But focusing specifically on those three areas, cardiovascular research, transplant, regenerative medicine, and, and health equity as well. So if we could talk a second about some of the disparities that we have here in South Jersey, which is not too dissimilar to some other states uh, across the nation. Um, we talk about you know the opioid crisis, right? Uh, diabetic care. Uh, and uh, especially in underserved and rural populations, uh, hypertension, cancer, et cetera. There's ju it just goes on and on and on. With, with your vision of the college, and we talked a little bit about um, the need, right? We talked about the disparities. We said how South Jersey is 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 kind of in the thick of, of a lot of this. And and I just saw our, our audience who's listening. I mean, we're both rural, suburban, and um, urban, right? Really, we in this in and in, in Rowan University. So we we are very unique, I think, as both a medical school um, and as a university overall. We see all of these disparities, um, but with Rowan. Health College, how do you see, how are we going to be specifically suited to look at some of these specific disparities here in South Jersey? I think that, uh, Rich, that that's um, at the very heart of our mission yeah. is, is to really be a change agent for those things. I'll start with the opioid crisis because mm -hmm. uh, this is an area that you, in your previous role, as head of the Neuromusculoskeletal Institute, and still now as interim dean, um, addressing the opioid crisis it is, a, is a pivotal thing. You know, during the COVID crisis, the opioid crisis kind of got took the back seat. Absolutely. But uh, now it's up at the forefront. And uh, of course, I learned from, from you that Camden County, Atlantic County, um, some of the highest uh, uh, challenges that we have with regard to opioid crisis, the number of deaths from deaths. overdose, et cetera, um, is off the chart. Yep. It's off the chart. And uh, so this is, this is something that we really need to address. And uh, we're doing that already, but we need to do more, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And um, when you even look at um, health statistics in the state, uh, county by county, um, cancer rates, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, particularly Cumberland County, Salem County, um, we're, we're way up there. Um, this, this needs to change. This needs to change. And that's what this academic health system is all about, by partnering uh, with hospitals in the area and other uh, community uh, agencies, um, we, can, we can make a difference. The work that you have done with regard to partnering with the VA 
dealing with the opioid crisis and suicide is an example how uh, partnering is really very critical. So how are we going to do this? Um, partnering is very important. Absolutely. We can't do it alone. So forming good relationships with uh, the county health departments, mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing with the COVID crisis. It brought us close to the county health departments. We have such a great relationship with the county health departments in Camden County and other areas as well. Um, the VA, yep. another example of how the Wilmington VA that we have a, an affiliation with serves Southern New Jersey, these very counties, Salem, Cumberland, Cape May, Atlantic, partnering with them. So we need to partner with the health systems in the area. Absolutely. Uh, we're fortunate to have a great hospital partner, Virtua, but also Inspira is a great partner too, and we're building partnerships too with others, Atlantic Care, et cetera. So we need to train a workforce that will practice in New Jersey, that is focused on primary care, not alone. We need primary care physicians, but we need specialists as well. But you know, if you don't have strong primary care, you gotta get patients in the door. So you need strong primary care. We'll be doing that by training quality primary care physicians, nurse practitioners, physician's assistants uh, as well, and specialty areas as well. But we need to train the type of physician that the communities need. And that really is reflected in the values that um, we have been holding. That is something I know you feel very strongly about diversity. Absolutely very strongly about the need to serve the underserved communities. Um, collegiality, that means working together as a team. So training health professionals uh, that really bring those values to the community is, is critical. And then also, once again, this is where also research comes into play too, because um, some of the things that have been done to address these issues haven't been working. But what interventions can we bring that really make a difference in the community? And then we can really publish that data so not only it helps our community, but it can be replicated elsewhere. Absolutely. I, I think, I think uh, the other thing, too, is interprof interprofessional training and education, which is another foundation in bringing three, three schools together under your umbrella, which I, I think we're going to do pretty much better than anyone else, I can, yeah. I can guarantee. Um, Tom, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and talk to us and show us your, your vision. Um, I think this was amazingly um, enlightening. Uh, lots of questions were answered today about where, where this if structure is going. Um, I will I will just let the audience know that we're amazingly excited to be part of this college. Um, and. Uh, in your role, Tom, anything I could do as interim dean, please let me know. Um, I just want to thank our audience today uh, for joining us and Dr. Cavalieri. Um, please uh, keep in mind that we'll continue having other thought leaders coming about once a month so that you can learn more about what's going on uh, here at the school, uh, both at the medical school and Rowan University. So thank you all, and uh, have a great day. Bye.